Hello, I'm Father Joe Roche of the Marian Fathers of the Immaculate Conception. Thank you for joining us as we continue with our year-long journey, reading the diary of St. Maria Faustina Kowalska from beginning to end. Today, we take up from where we left off, beginning with diary entry number 47. February 22, 1931. In the evening, when I was in my cell, I saw the Lord Jesus clothed in a white garment. One hand was raised in the gesture of blessing. The other was touching the garment at the breast. From beneath the garment, slightly drawn aside at the breast, there were emanating two large rays, one red, the other pale. In silence, I kept my gaze fixed on the Lord. My soul was struck with awe, but also with great joy. After a while, Jesus said to me, Paint an image according to the pattern you see, with the signature, Jesus, I trust in you. I desire that this image be venerated, first in your chapel, and then throughout the world. I promise that the soul that will venerate this image will not perish. I also promise victory over its enemies already here on earth, especially at the hour of death. I myself will defend it as my own glory. When I told this to my confessor, I received this for a reply. That refers to your soul. He told me, certainly, paint God's image in your soul. When I came out of the confessional, I again heard words such as these. My image already is in your soul. I desire that there be a feast of mercy. I want this image, which you will paint with a brush, to be solemnly blessed on the first Sunday after Easter. That Sunday is to be the feast of mercy. I desire that priests proclaim this great mercy of mine towards souls of sinners. Let the sinner not be afraid to approach me. The flames of mercy are burning me, clamoring to be spent. I want to pour them out upon these souls. Jesus complained to me in these words, Distrust on the part of souls is tearing at my insides. The distrust of a chosen soul causes me even greater pain. Despite my inexhaustible love for them, they do not trust me. Even my death is not enough for them. Woe to the soul that abuses these gifts. When I spoke about this to Mother Superior, Rose, telling her that God had asked this of me, she answered that Jesus should give some sign so that we could recognize him more clearly. When I asked the Lord Jesus for a sign as a proof, that you are truly my God and Lord, and that this request comes from you, I heard this interior voice. I will make this all clear to the superior by means of the graces which I will grant through this image. When I tried to run away from these interior inspirations, God said to me that on the day of judgment, he would demand of me a great number of souls. Once, Exhausted because of these various difficulties that had befallen me because of what Jesus had said to me and what he had demanded of me for the painting of this image, I made up my mind to approach Father Andrash before my perpetual vows and to ask him to dispense me from all these interior inspirations and from the duty of painting this image. After having heard my confession, Father Andrash gave me this answer, I will dispense you from nothing, sister. It is not right for you to turn away from these interior inspirations, but you must absolutely, and I say absolutely, speak about them to your confessor. Otherwise, you will go astray, despite the great graces you are receiving from God. For the present, you are coming to me for confession, but understand, sister, that you must have a permanent confessor, that is to say, a spiritual director, I was very upset by this. I thought that I would get myself free from everything, and it turned out quite the opposite, an explicit command to follow the requests of Jesus. And now, still another torment, as I had no permanent confessor. But if I went to the same confessor for a certain period of time, I could not open my soul to him in respect to these graces, 
and this caused me ineffable pain. So I asked Jesus to give these graces to someone else, because I did not know how to make use of them, and I was and was only wasting them. Jesus, have mercy on me. Do not entrust such great things to me, as you see that I am a bit of dust and completely inept. But the goodness of Jesus is infinite. He had promised me visible help here on earth, and a little while later I received it in Vilnius, in the person of Father Sopochko. I had already known him before coming to Vilnius, thanks to an interior vision. One day I saw him in our chapel between the altar and the confessional, and suddenly heard a voice in my soul say, This is the visible help for you on earth. He will help you carry out my will on earth. On February 22, 1931, Jesus asks St. Faustina to paint an image according to the pattern that she sees. The apparition happened in Płock, in Poland. Now, I happen to be recording this podcast in Rome precisely on the 90th anniversary of that apparition. And yesterday, the Holy Father Francis spoke about it during the Angelus message. There are no coincidences with God, just the unfolding of his plan. Jesus and her confessor would have to discern that Jesus was not asking her her to paint an image, but to find an artist to do so. And Jesus wasn't speaking only figuratively of an image in her heart, but literally a real painting. St. Faustina had many difficulties fulfilling all that Jesus asked of her. She tried to get out of it, but Jesus held her responsible for all the graces that she was receiving and for the souls who would be lost if she buried the gifts that God was giving her. Imagine through the years all of the souls who have benefited from the Divine Mercy message and devotion, from the Feast of Mercy, the image of the Divine Mercy, the Chaplet of Mercy, from confession in preparation for Mercy Sunday. And if St. Faustina had not followed through, the opportunity for the conversion of all those souls would not have been there, or at the very least, it would have been much more difficult for them. God has a plan for each of us. Let's not be afraid, but rather let's ask for the grace so that we can persevere and fulfill God's will.